In the 16th to 18th century, people demanded mainly on animal and human labor along with wood for energy. The iron industry boomed and wood was in high demand since it created charcoal, the primary source of fuel at the time. The use of charcoal led to productions of mechanical energy to power machinery. The first primitive steam engines were invented by Thomas Savory, 1698, and Thomas Newcomen, 1705, both burning coal to produce steam used to operate a pump. In 1763, Watt reduced the wasted energy of Newcomen's steam engines and later commercialized their use in Britain. The demand for coal led to a problem, how to efficiently meet that demand when transport of coal was, at the time, powered by humans and animals. In 1816, a rail was developed that would support heavy locomotives and prompted the first steam locomotive built by Richard Trevithick. Rocket, a locomotive built by George Stevenson in 1824, ran at 24 miles per hour, quick enough to greatly increase efficiency of transportation and reduce the cost and uncertainty of shipping freight. Within 20 years, they had completed the main trunk lines in Great Britain. The Great Expedition and Industrial Fair held in London in 1851 was visited by 6 million people and signified industrial success in Britain. The country's population and gross national product rose drastically from the 16th century, only produ producing about 2% of the world's industrial goods, to the 17th producing around 20% of goods. In response to the growing population, Thomas Malthus argued in 1798 that lower classes had been pushed into poor living conditions, an essay of the principle of population. To amend the rapid population growth, he suggested that people only considered marriage later in life. David Ricardo produced the iron laws of wages, stating that in time wages could continue to sink to the bare minimum due to population growth. Farmers and workers didn't get much of the new wealth that instead went to the already wealthy. Hey.